Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everybody? What's going on? Oh, man. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, you're catching me right now in the bed. Yes, I am live, still in my bed. And I just want to pop on, guys, really quick, just to share some with you all here on my personal profile. My personal profile. So first and foremost, I want to tell all you guys happy Thanksgiving to you. And uh, if you guys come on now, feel free to uh, tell me where you're watching this from. Um, putting in the city and state, I like as well, or country. Um, but yeah, I just want to pop on really quick, guys. Let's just share some things with you all really quick. And I want to talk about thankful in all things. How to be thankful and all that. Yes, yeah, so you, you catch me in my PJ still and everything like that as well. So, you know, today is Thanksgiving for those of us who live in the United States of America. I know other countries recognize this holiday on this day, and that's perfect fine. But I think that what I want to share with you this morning, it literally just in my mind a couple of minutes ago, uh, is uh, how to be thankful. Always, how to be thankful in all circumstances and everything you do. So, um, so as you guys are following in now, I just want to uh, share some nuggets with you. And um, you know, Thanksgiving means a lot of things for a lot of different people. Uh, this is uh, one of the most surreal Thanksgiving for myself and my family because uh, this will be the first time me living in Texas again that I won't be at the same house with my mother and father uh due to the pandemic and everything else you know um, my family is touched by covid and i know it's real um my my brother as well as my uh my god's family which are my classes basically like family i love them just as much as i love my blood family but we've been affected by this pandemic you know virus as well and we're exercising caution and more, more importantly, exercising wisdom, you know, and uh, during this holiday season, Thanksgiving holiday. And so um, we've been living in Texas again since like, oh, yeah. I used to live in California as well. And so this will be the first time that I uh, won't be in the same house, you know, with my parents during this Thanksgiving. Holiday. So it's definitely surreal, it's different, you know, and I think a lot of families are experiencing this, you know, won't be around extended family, you know, during this Thanksgiving. Um, but I just want to share really quick, um, thankful and everything. I think it can help. And of course, this was inspired, if you know, in the Constitution and the first it says, you know, be thankful in all circumstances. This is God's will for you who belong to Christ you read some or anything like that. You see, been thankful, been thankful, been thankful, been thankful, thankful, right? Now, here's the deal. You don't have to be a kingdom citizen for this to even be a fact that I think doctors have done a study on uh, being thankful. And, and uh, study. doctors have done a study on being thankful that the more you show gratitude, the more successful and the more healthy, you know, uh, what's interesting is that scientists prove the Constitution, a the Bible, to be true. You know, they, after, after they, the Bible tells you this stuff thousands of years ago, then scientists validate it now, like, wow, this is true. Wow, this is true. And it's already been written in Word. It tends to show you the Bible is uh, the confirmed written word of God, but but it talks about being thankful, you know, and then like if you read the Amplified Version, read the Amplified Version, it's in every situation, no matter what the circumstances, be thankful and continually give thanks to God, for this is the will of God for you. So, so, so how can we be thankful though? Because 2020 
and as you might well agree, 2020 has been a surreal year. I mean, still God willing, another five weeks, you know, left in it. Thus far, 2020 has probably been the most surreal year of any of our lives. I don't care if you're six or if you're 96, you know, things that have transpired during this year. Everyone I talk to, parents, I talk to the other generation, right? They've never seen a year with so much has happened in one calendar year. So it's been a very surreal year. Uh, there have been some, you know, it's a lot of bad things. There have been a lot of good things. Uh, literally, there have been a lot of good things. Well, really bad. And so, um, so how can you then be thankful in all circumstances? I'm going to share some practical. Because I read you the scripture, but all right, let's be practical. Because I think someone who actually can expound and teach the word and, and make it it's matter is that we can read scripture all day. I studied the Hebrew and the Greek, right? But you need to make it practical so that way you can apply it. Because being thankful, let's be honest, being thankful in every situation is not easy. It's not something that you want to do, especially when you had a lot of quote unquote negative stuff happen. Being thankful is the last thing on your mind. You, you, you could be angry, be bitter. You could even be vengeful, right? Let's keep it 100. So being thankful is something that is not natural. It's not. Uh, but see, one thing that verse does say, and I think we need to qualify it, it doesn't say be thankful for all circumstances. And if it said that, then that would be almost, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Almost cynical, right? But what it says, it says, be thankful in. So you don't have to be thankful for every situation. Because it's easy to be thankful for the good. Like I said, 2020 has been good to a lot of people. Right? A lot of people I personally know, I mean, some things that happen to me, my business, other people I know, it's been good. But it's been also been bad. My family members had COVID, a lot of other stuff. Is happening. So, uh, but it says, be thankful in. So how can you be thankful in everything? Well, I believe you have to have a big picture viewpoint. If you look at things short-sighted, if you look at things just for like right now, well, like what's gonna happen right now? If that's your focus on what happens right now, it's very challenging to be thankful, you know, in because most of us tend to look at things just right, right? We don't tend to have a big picture viewpoint, but the, the way God sees your situation, it's never right now. It's never in the moment, always big picture. It's where he wants, where he's molding you to be five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. I talk about this a lot with my class of students masterpiece program right and in business you always want to have a big picture most people who want to get in business or in business most have a right now mindset i need to make money because i just invested in this or i just uh started this I just bought this purchase it whatever case may be, right or again i need to pay my bills right right now and typically we have just a right now mindset it's skewed. Um, it's skewed, and, and and it doesn't serve you to bet. There's a lot of things you're gonna miss when you're thinking just right now. Instant gratitude. Right? Give me what I can get right now. And you want to be very careful with that. Uh, when you have a big picture viewpoint, it will allow you. Now check this out. 2017. I quit my job August 23rd, 2016. Will climb online. And prior to that, I was probably fired from a lot of different jobs, right? And had some temporary stays at home. But August 23rd, 2016 was the time that God allowed me to fire. That's when I knew that it was time. Now, 
In the midst of that, March 23rd, 2016, to the present moment, I had some very severe, severe trials. Very, I went through some valleys. 2017, oh my goodness. A valley. I've probably never been on my knees so much in prayer. I've never shed so many tears so much. I've probably never had so many just wide range of emotions so much in recent memory, maybe 2019, 2017. 2017 stuck out to me a lot. Hey, what's up, man? You tell about Happy Thanksgiving? You tell about Happy Thanksgiving? Come on, talk. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I think you blessed the Lord. You blessed the Lord. All right. What you about to go do? Where are they? Oh, are they watching? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to them in three. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying, y'all? Oh, yeah, 2017 was a very tough year for me. But now as I look back on it, it was necessary because God had to wean me off some things. I had to go to that valley, that dry season, that desert, because while I was relying on uh, my own expertise, my own skills, I was relying on what I saw in the bank account which wasn't much, by the way, when I quit my job, the deal. And 2017 was a year that God proved to me and told me that he is my source. And I had to go through those times for God to show me that he is my source. You understand what I'm saying? So um, now I can look back on it now. But even through that, those moments where I said, okay, Chris, you need what God is doing. He's going to form me into the image of God. And there, there are going to be some very good things coming out of it. I had many moments in you know, the great year of 2019. 2020 crazy. My story, how huh? zero. I lost my clients in March. March and April, zero. We actually hit a negative in April. And since then, it's been crazy, right? Crazy, you know, great. But it was me being, being grateful because of, of the development that was taking place through those valleys. Now, God, I believe God tests you in the valley and he also tests you on the mountaintop, right? You get tested both ways and you need to be grateful in both seasons. And when you have a big picture viewpoint, it allows you to, right? Once you understand this, one thing I love about the natural law, I teach kingdom laws, right? But one thing I love about natural law, it has seasons. And those seasons are proven to work no matter what generation you are. What's, what's working now in, in, in winter, spring, summer, fall, 2020, also worked in the year 2020 BC, right? And Seasons come and go. They don't last always. So wherever you are right now in life, it's going to end. Ask me how I know. All right? Ask me how I know. I'm evidence. So don't rob that season. If you're going through a season right now of winter, of valley, don't rob that season or rob yourself of that season of growth. It, 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 it could be a season of, of self-examination. And if you go through a season of prosperity, don't rob that season of growth. Stay humble. I always tell myself, you got to stay humble, right? Don't allow success now to get to your head. That's the same way. Don't allow defeat or failure or setback to get to your head. It's the same. The moment you can stay the same in both seasons, that's when God said, okay, now you're ready. So the way you can be thankful in all circumstances, guys, is by having a big picture, realizing that this is not just for the moment. What's happening, good or bad, for you five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, big picture. God doesn't think just in the moment. He thinks, right? So hopefully you found this valuable. If you did, let me know. Comment below.
to find value about this. I may have turned this to a podcast. Might be my podcast in the future. I think it's really. Uh, but hey, guys, hope this bless you. Um, you know, if you guys need some help growing your business, you know, anything like that, if, if you're seriously right now really ready to grow your business, I'm offering free discovery sessions at workwithcritero.com. Again, if you go to workwithcritero.com, if you're a serious entrepreneur, a serious business owner looking to grow and scale your business, you can go to workwithcritero.com and discovery session with me. Follow all the steps there. And other stuff will be coming out really soon, guys, in December. Stay tuned, get ready. You know, you on my email list, you'll already see some crazy offers, crazy Black Friday deals. Should. We got some really awesome things coming out as well. So, uh, you what you want to experience, especially if you're kingdom money. So, let me know if you found this valuable. Comment below. You know, I got an amazing podcast as well, Kingdom Market Secrets. But comment below. Let me know what you find valuable and share this with others as well. Hit the share button as well. All right, guys. So, be blessed. Uh, enjoy your holiday. Remember this keep God first. All that you do. See, peace and God bless.